All right, well, welcome to Hot Takes presented by Chicken Shack. All right, we're starting, our, starting off with our first sauce here, mango habanero. Let's see what she's about. Pretty hungry too, so this should be fun. Oh, that's good. Got some sweet flavor to it too. Yeah, it's really spicy. That is actually spicy. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. What is the first concert you ever went to? The first concert I can remember going to was in Stephenville, Texas at the Twisted J Bar. It was Co-Wetzel. Um, okay. I was kind of like, you know, in high school I didn't do a whole lot, so it was kind of my first concert I got to go to. I would say it was, it was a time to remember. I would say yeah, that. Pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Yeah. What about you? What was your first concert? I've never been to a concert, unfortunately. That is sad. Hopefully one of these days I get the other one. That is sad. <laughs> I don't trust them. Too many people. That is too, unfortunate. Too many people. Uh, here we got spicy sriracha. Let's give it a try. Go ahead. Why don't you do that? Okay, thank you. Very much, much appreciated. That's what she's about. Mm -hmm. I like that one better. Yeah. Got a little kick at the one. end though. I ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. All right, let's get it. It's a long one. Hope I can read all these words. You get paired up with 100 strangers. If you are better than all of them at something, you get one billion. What something are you choosing? So what are you better than most people? Is basically what this card is saying. Mm. Hit you on. 100 people. Hundred people, and I'm paired up with somebody. No, you're paired, paired up with a hundred strangers. You got to be better than them at something. All of them at something. Oh, what man. are you picking? Hundred uh, people. I'm gonna go with table tennis. I'm pretty good at table ping pong. Tennis. Yeah, I better hope I'm not. Okay, okay. No, 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 not a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance. What about yourself? Table tennis. Okay, that's that's a good one. Then I'll be singing. Um, I would say singing, but let's hope we don't get the right hundred people. But that's an easy one. So let's move on and do something else. What am I good at? What am I not good at? The question. Mm -hmm. but that is that the is. question. What am I good at? A hundred people. I would say speaking in public. Public speaking. Yeah, you can talk. Well. I can talk. I, I can talk well. Yeah. I sound a lot smarter than I actually am. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's something I like to <laughs> take pride in. Next up, we have hot. I'll go first. So I introduced it. You really gotta dip it too, because you've been kind of okay. I, shy. I, 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 I got you. I got you. Let's see. Let's see. Is that enough? Is that good enough for you? Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Dude. Oh my! No, it's not that. It's actually pretty smooth. Oh, mellowed out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Hello. Oh, that's so pretty good. Okay, so I don't know how to kick. Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. If there was a movie made about your life, mm. who would you want to star as you? Wow. Mm. If there was a movie made about my life, who would I want to star as you? That's good. Um, I would say Ryan Reynolds. I'm a big fan of his. Yeah, I think everything he does, he kind of brings lightheartedness even to serious situations. That's that adds to your life. Yeah, you sure? Yeah. I was thinking like uh, John Wayne. John Wayne. Yeah, John Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, John Wayne. Um, Ryan Reynolds, he's funny, has a beautiful wife, mm -hmm. which I plan on having one day. And don't forget. Not soon. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Ooh, I would say Tom Cruise. Wow, that was a quick answer. Too. Yeah, and that's Tom a good Cruise. one. Action movie. So, Top Gun. Yeah, it's awesome. He's a good actor. I love, love him. him. Oh, good. I wish I'd said Tom love Cruise, and I'm kind of jealous yeah, of that energy. Yeah, he here we got Nashville hot. Let's give it a try. Oh, There's some beat back, back in there. I'm about to be mad at you. Oh, good. 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 What do you think? 
Person across from you, and really think. I want you to take a second on this one. Be meaningful. Be a drink. Yeah, I don't know if I can compliment you. Um, a pick from God, here. you don't know I've known this guy for a long time. But some would say too long. <laughs> um, Jesus, I would say, kind of along the lines of what you said earlier, you're probably one of the most outgoing people I've ever met. You can talk to anybody, which is really weird sometimes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can talk to anybody and, and kind of spark up a conversation. So. Thank you. It's the first nice thing he's ever said to me. That's the first thing. First thing. <laughs> Our group of friends, I got bullied in college yeah. most of the time. So this is actually nice for a change. Yeah. Um, me complimenting you, I would say. So we went to college together, for those little background, played college football together. When I came in, I was kind of a nobody. He was already a two-time All-American Defensive Player of the Year in the country. So I would say him, seeing how he prepared during the week and, like, how he went about his business at practice and in the weight room, and then how he was as a person, like, he never treated me any differently or made me feel any type of way, I'd say that's probably what I appreciate the most about you and really our whole friend group. So, what you got to say, bro? It's the wings. It's the wings. Yeah, it's this stuff is doing something there right it's now. It's the wings that... Our fifth and final sauce... It's called Damn Hot. We're going to see if it lives up to its name or not. It looks pretty damn hot, actually. Yep. You kind of baked. No, a little hard. A little hot. Not crazy. I like hot. I mean, I'm not. I like hot things. So, that's actually pretty good. That's a good flavor, too. Yeah, I like that. Definitely got the nose running now. No napkin, no sir. Yeah, you should share it. It's okay, I'm gonna make it. Yeah. Okay, because I'll... Oh, 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 oh. Bro, don't touch. Bro, what do you mean? You touch I just washed my hands. One. Please pick this I one. just washed my hands. No. <coughs> I'll, pick it, I'll pick it up on the next one. I'll pick it up on the next one. I gotta stop talking. Alright. Texas, small town Texas, 400 people. I uh, did get done coaching football or something. I go to my little brother's house. He owns about five acres. We'd make a little fire, cook on the pit, you know, enjoy a couple beverages. Wake up early Saturday morning and go hog hunt with my dogs. That's my favorite pastime activity. That's what I do on the weekends. Um, do that from about, I don't know, 8 to sometimes 5 to 6 p.m. Saturday night, I like to dress up and actually go out, see people where at. Mm, my spot back home. Um, I either go to Waco to a little dance hall or go to College Station to Northgate. I kind of, got buddies back home in, in Snook, Texas, too. So, usually go out and then go back to my buddy's house in Snook and, you know, play pool. We got a nice pool table. Drink, drink some more beverages. And Sunday, kind of a chill day. Get my lesson plans together for the week. Um, get ready to teach geometry because. Uh, geometry teacher. Oh, so, yeah, 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 so that's what I do. That's my weekend. That's my perfect weekend. That's pretty nice. What about you? Pretty scheduled out. Yeah. Um, probably the same Friday night. Uh, hopefully win a, a football game, high school football game. Mm -hmm. um, after that, go over to probably coach's house. Kind of yeah. relax, chill after the game, talk about the game, you know. What are y'all doing it? Huh? What are y'all doing it? Oh, we just eat. We just eat. Yeah. Okay. Nothing not crazy. Nothing mm -hmm. crazy. You know, it's late. Got to get home. Um, then next morning, uh, wake up to my beautiful fiance, obviously, and probably go out. You know, we like to go to Barnes and Nobles books. <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty nice. Go, go buy some books. Real nice. You know, read, get educated. Um, Did you say that, she's smarter than you? Uh, she definitely is. Way yeah, smarter than me. Than me. Than yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think everybody knows that. Um, after that, probably go get some food. Mm -hmm. And then just chill the rest of the day, probably watch some movies, play some games. Um, that's Saturday. And then Sunday, uh, just kind of recover from that week before and, and kind of go to church that morning and then spend some time with the family the rest of the day and then call it quits. Probably perfect weekend. Good weekend. So after the five, I have a winner. My winner is mango habanero. That is my favorite one. The sweetness of it is like sweet and sour, but it has a little bit of kick to it. That stuff's pretty good. Thank you. Bro, you want to get some? Oh, you want? Enjoy my flavor too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll enjoy it. Mmm. This is good one. Okay, you're gonna have to hold up some of that deep. Oh wait, no. It's a deep one, so. Oh, it's deep. Love them. Not really deep. Should be deep. Don't have to be. Don't have to be. Who would you say inspires you mm. to do what you do? Man. Yep, I told you. To do what I do, I would say, obviously, my mom and dad. Um, those are the two biggest supporters. But yeah. outside of them, I would honestly say it would have to be my cousin who has trained me and mm. who has worked with me through this whole process. And, uh, He's always been there for me and with me and very supportive. And uh, he's one of the people that definitely I don't want to let down. Yeah, so that's it for sure. Yeah, that's a good one. What about yourself? Um, you know, my parents, um, my mom, in a way of just don't want to let her down, like who she is. Uh, high school volleyball coach with over like 800 wins. Um, one of four female athletic directors in the state of Texas. Just uh, a really good ge uh, algebra teacher, does three classes of geometry on top of being an athletic director. So to see her do what she does and then take care of three boys. Um, yeah, pretty tough. Yeah, three boys, no girls. So it was a tough household and she held her own. And um, seeing her do that was, was super cool. And then my dad, um, my dad has been, he, we had our battles when we were younger, athletically. Um, yeah, you know, he, he was kind of my coach almost. Um, and there were times, or we butted head, but man, looking back, I'm so grateful for my dad. He's he's believed in me truly when I haven't even believed in myself, or nobody else has ever given me a shot. My dad has really came through for me, and he, he never really had them opportunities as a kid. Uh, both my parents grew up really poor. Um, you know, not they they lived a life and they they yeah. did things, but my dad never had the opportunity to like hardly ever travel out of state, any of that. Like some of the first times he ever traveled out, traveled out of state was to watch us play the national championship. So yeah. For me, that was super cool. And then me getting this opportunity to do this and play professionally is something that he's dreamed of and, and really pushing me towards, I would say, my dad is probably probably the, the person that really keeps me going in the football realm of things. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, dude. Oh. Pops. Yes, that's my favorite. Your turn, buddy. Which one is this one? The sweet sriracha? Mm-hmm. That's my favorite. Really like it. Really good taste. What? That was terrible. What? What was? No. I'm not saying the sauce, I'm saying your introduction was terrible. How is it terrible? It's really good. I don't know. Okay, well. Oh, you don't want to try mine? <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. 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 Mm. Mm. What was your favorite thing to do as a child that you would love to still be able to do as an adult? Yeah. Wow, favorite thing to do as a child. Mm. Kind of sad, uh, <clears throat> not really, well, kind of sad. But my grandma's house, uh, walking in through my grandma's front door, she always had the door open but the screen closed. Yeah, and she's always cooking. So as soon as you walk in there, you know, it's, hey baby, what do you want? Like, you hungry? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, she passed away in 2019, so I would say if I could go back and do one thing for my childhood, it'd be to walk in my grandma's house, my grandpa, my grandma. Happy family. Like I stay there every day as a kid. After school, that's where I go. I think go to daycare with my grandma. So I would say see my Gigi one more time would probably be the what I would go with personally. I know that's kind of deep, but yeah. That's pretty deep. That's hey, that's, that's good though. That's, that's good girl. though. I ain't gonna lie. Mine's along the same track. Yeah. So my also my grandma. Uh, she passed away in 2019. It was pretty crazy. I didn't know that about I didn't you. Know that um, but anyways. So just like you said, just going over there, we would always go over there on weekends. And she kind of had a lakefront house, not on the lake, but we kind of went to the 
park and all that stuff um, just on the weekends. But we were really, really tight back then, and we always went over there no matter what. And it was always a good time, and we'd always play a uh, phase ten. Yep. And so she was really, 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 really heavy in the phase ten, and uh -huh. uh, man, some of those games got kind of rough. <laughs> Chairs were thrown, cards were thrown. Same. Doesn't matter what it was, but. Probably as a kid, though, those were the best memories I've, I've had, for mm -hmm. sure. We'd love to, to relive those. Yep. A little bit. Oh, yeah. And that wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen. This was Hot Takes presented by The Chicken Shack.